just love uh, brown sugar and carrots. We just love glazed carrots. And uh, we probably eat them once or twice a week. But uh, carrots are good for you. I'm not going to say that the brown sugar glaze is, but still, you know, you got to take the bad with the good, I guess. But, you know, people have been preserving and canning for years and years and years. And uh, canning carrots was uh, one of them uh, garden vegetables that always got canned. I remember seeing canned carrots always on the, on the shelf. But I don't remember seeing glazed carrots. So... Uh, Grandma would take them out and just put them in the pot and then she'd make her own glaze and put them on there, which is good. It was always good. But I think I'm going to, I'm going to can, I've got about six pounds of carrots and I'm wanting to can them, but I'm going to can them with a, a sugar glaze. So uh, I think that'll be good. So I'm going to take you along with me to can up some uh, glazed carrots. I've got my clean sterilized uh, hot jars here and I'm going to start filling them up. Now I chunk these carrots up the size that we like them, but I, I don't want them to cook too much, so I like them pretty big chunks, especially when they're glazed. So I'm going to just start filling these up and uh, pushing them down, kind of packing them in there. And uh, you want to leave an inch head space at the top. I might end up having to, uh, and this should do six pints. Uh, so I'm going to get all these filled up and uh, make sure I've got enough carrots to fill all my jars. Makes pretty jars. I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of cannon salt in each jar, and this is optional. You don't. This is not for the preserving part, but this is just. I like a little salt in there. The recipe. This is a ball canning and preserving recipe, and it's really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the ingredients because it's a really it's a really easy recipe. But uh, all it is is about six to seven pounds of carrots that you. Uh, you chunk up, slice up, and I'm going to be putting them in pint jars, and that's going to make about uh, six pints. So if you're wanting to do a big canner full, you'll have to double the recipe. So, and also, it's uh, for, the, for the syrup, for the glaze, it's going to be two cups of water, and it's going to be two cups of, and I want you to pack I mean, make two full cups of brown sugar. I just really big. <laughs> I like my brown sugar. So put you two, two full cups of brown sugar in there. And then a cup of orange juice. Uh, I think what I had on hand was, it was a mixture of orange juice and pineapple juice. And it it's really good so that's what I I'm gonna use so that's two cups of water two cups of brown sugar and a cup of orange juice and that's gonna be my my glaze that I'll pour in there with my my carrots so it sounds good and it's gonna be good so I'm sure that I mean sometimes you have to do Sometimes you're going to do a full batch, which means a, a big canner full. But if you are, you need to do a small batch canning, there's nothing wrong with that. Last night I went in there and um, I canned up seven quarts of potatoes because that's all I had time to do. And that's just seven quarts that's on my, my shelf now. So sometimes like during the week when I come in from work and I got supper done, I can do small batch canning and not have so be so overwhelmed with so much at one time. So doing small batch canning is not a bad thing. So 
let's can up some diced carrots. Now I've got this pretty syrup here and it's I've got it heated up and uh, like I said my jars are hot so I'm gonna start filling these up with my syrup and I'm gonna leave a half uh, an inch head space at the top just pour them in there and just let it kind of syrup go in between the carrots it doesn't take long to do a small batch of, you know, when that's all you've got time during the week. And before you know it, you've got a pantry stocked. And you've not had to spend a whole day canning. I don't, especially when you don't, when you don't have a whole day. When you still work outside of the home, it's, you got to play catch up all the time. But this is a real good recipe. Like I said, it's out of the, uh, the ball canning and preserving book. I'm going to debubble all these jars real good and get all the air bubbles out. And you can see how your carrots, you see how they just kind of settle down a little bit. If you got a little bit too much uh, syrup in there, you can just spoon and take some of it out. But you, like I said, an inch head space. Mm -hmm. That you do bubble. Get them bubbles out. So I'm going to finish doing all my debubbling and then we'll put our lids on. I got them debubbled and I put my warm lids on and I've got my rings on here and I'm just putting them finger tight and we'll get them in the canner. The pressure's building up good and I'm going to let it sit here and I'm going to let it vent for 10 minutes before I put my weight on there. It's been venting for 10 minutes so now I've got my weight. I'm going to put my weight on there. And I'm going to let it build up to 10 pounds of pressure. And when it does that, I'll start timing it. And uh, I'll time it for 30 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. Okay, it's been, uh, it's been going for 30 minutes now. I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to let it depressure. Gonna, I'll let it sit here for an hour or so. And then we'll take the jars out. Pretty glazed carrots. Small batch cannon. It's easy and it's fun. Hey guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share it. Please come back and see me. And God bless everybody.